What is going on at YouTube? Bryce builds it all your favorite AMP IA and part 147 instructor. And I'm gonna continue my video series on AMP practical projects for students going to test to get their AMP, but this might apply to anyone. And this video is gonna be about how to read this guy right here. And this is a micrometer that measure, measures down to four decimal places or 10 thousandths of an inch. A little post editorial note that I want to say before I get into this, um, there's a really good tool for this called therulergame.com. They do not sponsor the channel. I just have used them in my classroom. Um, you can use the ruler game to test or to check measurements with, with rulers, with micrometers, with vernier calipers, with all kinds of different precision measurement equipment. Again, that's the ruler game. Um, select micrometer to down to four decimal places and then practice, 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 practice. Now, before I get too far into this, I would like to address some of how the micrometer works. No, it is not a calibrated C-clamp as my students so often like to call it, but you have your thimble here, you have your barrel here, and then you would place your work or whatever it is you're trying to measure right here. Now, they only measure about an inch at a time for an outside micrometer, which is what this one is. So if I were to run it down and measure, say, the thickness of my finger, you then have a lock that you can lock in place, wait, wrong way, that you can lock in place so that you can no longer turn this. And now if you listen really closely, that satisfying sound is the ratcheting stop. And that ensures that when you finish tightening this down, you don't over tighten it. So now how do we read this? And let me go ahead and show that to you. Now I apologize in advance. I don't know how well my GoPro is going to focus on all of this. So it might take a couple of takes or a couple of tries, or I might put up like a screen recording of exactly what this is seeing while I speak so that you can understand what I'm doing here. Now, the first thing I like to do before I even forget, begin, and this is actually my scratch paper from the video I did on using a, a multimeter, but the first thing I like to do before I even begin is set up this sort of staircase for each step that I'm going to take. The first step is the whole number, the second step is the tenth, the third and fourth step are the thousandths place, so the first number is going to come from the hash, the second number will come from the thimble, which I'll explain in a second, and then the last step is three zeros followed by a hash for my vernier scale. If I set this up each time like this, then I will know exactly what I need to plug in. So the first number that I'm going to do is my whole number. This is a zero to one inch micrometer. It says zero to one inch. So my first whole number is zero. My second number is going to be my tenths. Now I could probably do this without the math, but it helps to show you the math. And again, let's see if I can get the GoPro to focus on it, but that is at least four tenths. One, two, three, and four tenths. Okay, so that's now my next number. So now I just need to figure out this portion right here. Now, it's kind of hard to see on camera. Like I said, I'm going to try to get the GoPro to, let me see if I can get the GoPro to focus on this. Maybe, maybe not. It's a little blown out. Okay, I'll draw it on the paper. I'll draw it on the paper. I'll show you exactly what it's doing. Okay, because it might be hard to read, I've drawn it, ah, I've drawn it down here exactly what I am seeing on my barrel. Now I've got my smaller hash marks, and then I've got my thimble here. And if I zoom in on this for a second, each of the smaller hash marks is worth 25 thousandths. So each of these is worth 0 0.025 of an inch. And yes, they make micrometers to measure in a millimeter, but we're doing aircraft, so this is all in inches. So this is 0 0.025 inches. This is 0 0.050 inches. The next one would be 0 0.075, and then back to the whole number or 100. In the same way you count change, this is a quarter, this is 50 cents, then 75 cents, and so on. But this is 0 0.025, this is 0 0.050. So when I'm looking at my thimble, I can see that my thimble has passed the zero. So I know it's come past this 0 0.050 mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and move up here, put 0 0.050 or 50 thousandths of an inch. And now counting the barrel, it's between the seven and the eight. Now this micrometer here, again, it's tough to get it to focus, but you can see the five and you can kind of see the 10. And right now that line is sitting, right. this line right here is sitting right between the seven and the eight. So my next number is going to be zero, zero, seven, whoops, that moved, or seven thousandths of an inch. Again, that's tenths, hundredths, thousands so that is seven thousandths of an inch okay now for the very last number all i need to do is find my line of coincidence and that is the line that lines up on this scale here 
best with a line on the barrel. But before I do that, and it's not going to focus when I try to explain this to you, I could really use a better camera. But before I do that, I'm going to make an explanation. That is an explanation of the 10 little numbers that are here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the last one would be 10, okay? You have to envision that there's 10 lines in there. And right now, the micrometer is sitting somewhere in the middle. So what does that mean? To me, that means that my line of coincidence, since the line on the thimble is lining up in the middle with the barrel, that means that my line of coincidence is not going to be down here at the bottom or up here at the top. It's going to be somewhere in the middle around that four or five marks. And I'm going to lift this out of camera so I can kind of find it. And I'm looking for it right now. You're just going to have to trust me on this, unfortunately. But I'm going to say that that last decimal place is six. Now, it's kind of hard to see. But if I follow up my lines of coincidence and I go to number six, number six lines up almost perfectly with this 16 right here. It does not matter what number on the barrel or what number on the thimble the line of coincidence lines up with. It's the number on the line of coincidence that matters. So that last decimal place is 0.6. This is a mistake my students make a lot. They'll grab this number from over here. This number doesn't matter. It's the line of coincidence that lines up with it, so 0.6. The only way I would know that it would be either zero or zero is zero is the only number where both the zero line of coincidence on the top and bottom will line up. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this now that I got my measurement. If I took this and went down to exactly the nine or the eight, as close as I could get it, it's very difficult. Got it sort of locked in place. This zero lines up, and now if I go to the top, this zero will also line up. If they don't both all line up, then it's not on the whole number like I just kind of did here. If this lines up and you're like, ooh, is that is that 7.9 or is that 8 point, or it's not 7.9, is that 0 0.00, .00 eight nine or eight one or point zero zero seven nine words are really hard but you get the idea okay so it was somewhere in the middle and now this is my number so now what i need to do is some of that common core math and add down so if i add down this is six zero plus seven is seven five plus zero is zero four point so my micrometer was reading point four five seven six or four thousand five hundred and seventy six thousandth pretend that i said ten thousandths there of an inch four thousand five hundred seventy six thousandths of an inch right and these are accurate down to four decimal places provided they have been calibrated so i kind of hope that maybe helped clear it up i might try to put up some pictures of what i'm talking about so that you can see it a little more clearly now, with all of that said, I kind of hope I helped clear things up. I don't know how many um, screen recordings slash photos I'm going to have to use in this, um, words are hard, in this video to kind of help get you to see what I'm talking about. Maybe I can go to the ruler game and make it look like what this looked like because the camera doesn't focus very well, but that's what I get for filming with a GoPro. I film with a GoPro because it's really robust and it holds up very, very well um, working in hangars and around aircraft. Um, but, you know, maybe one day I'll get a more expensive camera. It's just hard to justify that cost. Um, anyways, if you found the video helpful, make sure you leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, um, go build something. Maybe easy.